special treat as of yesterday, which was Monday. I didn't have a single callus on tape to put on, on YouTube for today, Callus Tuesday. Uh, and I had three people come in who had calluses and they were kind enough to let me video while I trimmed them. And I think that you'll enjoy this. The first patient, uh, it was very funny because he told me that he had family who thought feet were very gross. And he actually had seen Dr. Neil Nipper and that was one of the reasons he came in to see me. Um, the second one is a patient that you've seen in the last couple of months and she had a video, I think I called it, she has the callus because she has the bunion, but I explain how the bunion during normal walking causes this callus. And the third was just a very nice guy who let me video trimming some calluses that give him trouble when they get thick. So sit back, enjoy, and thank you for subscribing and being here with us. All right, well, I have to tell you, you're like only the second patient who's ever come in because you saw Dr. Neil Nipper, so that's awesome. And you can talk this way. Um, so we'll just get this kind of, we'll just get this um, file or trim down for you and it should make it a little more comfortable. And again, you have this because of your flat foot and every time you toe off, you kind of go swoosh right on that toe and this gets rubbed between the ground and the bone underneath. Now, and as long as you're young and you can reach this and you can see what you're doing, you can do this at home too. But always make sure that you've got some like antibiotic ointment like Neosporin at home because you will eventually cut yourself. And you can see these, there's little dots inside here. And you should be able to see, let me just move that a little. That there's some little dots at the base of it, and that's some bleeding into the callus, which just means since you don't have rheumatoid arthritis or diabetes or anything, generally that just means that this callus got really thick and it bled a little bit way down underneath at the base. Nothing to worry about. Okay. So thank you for letting me video this for Callus Tuesday morning. <laughs> I just ran out of material this week. So that's awesome. All right, how does that feel? Good. You want me to do the other one on the other foot? Way point? better, yeah. Okay. Okay. So your family's gonna get all grossed out by this? <laughs> I think it's cool. Okay. Alright, well thank you. And I want to show why that callus comes just because of the shape your foot is in. Okay. Okay? So... Does this hurt when you walk on it if it gets too thick? No. Okay. In fact, I've forgotten all about the calories. Uh. <laughs> oh, calories. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm getting calories. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> I don't have something like that, do I? You do not. You have no, no calluses on your feet. Huh. I get callus because it's protecting, right? It's no. protecting. Oh, that's, that's why I thought. Nah. I mean, that sounds good, but the truth is, <laughs> you get the callus because this spot just has too much pressure on it. 
Oh, really? Really? And when the skin gets a lot of pressure, it gets thick. Okay. I get it. So a normal person will carry their weight through here and then toe off from the end of the toe. But over here you can see she's bearing all the weight under here and then toes off when she goes to walk off the outside part or the inside part of that toe there. And that gives you all the friction and the pressure right under that spot. And that's why she has the callus. So I guess that Uber thing at LAX was like a nightmare the first few days. By the time I got there, I waited about five minutes for my car. Isn't that terrific? It was nice. And the driver said he liked it a lot better, too. What are going to fly out there on? Um, Delta. Yeah, Delta is actually the best airline. There's no good airline. But I've flown on recently. Well, of all of all. Yeah. Oh, the American ones. So things have been going good? Yeah, can't busy? complain. Very busy. Yeah. And some interesting stuff walking in the door. So, you know, not every day is the same. Yeah. So, there are most of your, most of your new clients, mm -hmm. are patients. patients, whatever you call them, mm -hmm. are like, I bet like mine, that it was the new ones come from existing ones. Mostly now, yes, yeah. because all of the major health systems have hired their own, so their doctors are not allowed to refer here anymore. Really? Yeah. So almost all of our new patients are word of mouth, and a couple of chiropractors or physical therapists that we work closely with. Okay. So, yeah, it's kind that's of a shame. Good. That's good. Well, yeah, except that, you know, 20 years of cultivating relationships with these primary care doctors, and then they all got bought up by the big systems, yeah. and now they can't refer here anymore. Because they got their own. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah. we're, we're still busy, and it's okay. good. So, all right, that should feel a lot better. Thank you for letting me video that.